Welcome to Qigong. In today's class, I would like to do a lot of clearing from the work of the day, also to get some mobility back in my body after a lot of driving and sitting and standing and working, and then try and replenish some of the yangs, the strong yang chi of my body before going to bed. But after restoring some of that chi, we'll do a few yin flows just to settle the body down into a really nice balance for going to bed or for being up for the evening before going to bed. So this is a class I wouldn't do straight before going to bed, but maybe three or four hours. It's about six o'clock now. So I've got, say, three and a half hours to um, do bits and pieces that I would like to do at the end of my day and then head off to sleep. So let's start off just with a really, really easy knocking the door of life. Knocking the door of life, we're knocking just below the navel with the front of our forearm in front and at the back, we're knocking over point called Ming Men, which is very strong, Yang point of the body, and so is the sea of energy in front. So waking us up a little bit, but at the same time, what's happening here as I drop my tailbone, tuck my chin and lengthen my spine, and get most of the rotation coming through the lumbar and hips here, is I'm getting some nice spiraling movement back into my body again after the long sitting and the long standing. So we say today that sitting is the new smoking. Sitting is as bad for you as smoking was, or maybe still is, depending if you do that or not. But most of you probably don't do that anymore. Right, and just some nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, perhaps just to clear a little bit. Whenever we're breathing out through the mouth, it actually helps us to relax and clear. Breathing in and out through the nose is more strengthening. So let's just clear a little bit as we're doing this. And nice knock on, you know, get a little bit of circulation going as you knock across the body. You can lift your heels as you go from side to side. It's easier for the knees if you've got any knee issues to do that. And also the hip. And try and keep the body fairly straight. So don't break the line as you do that. You want to get a nice rotation going through a long spine. Oh, okay, and then bring one hand up into the shoulder nest, that little hollow just below the collarbone before the shoulder starts. That's where your first and second lung points are. So very good for your immunity and strengthen lungs as well. And from there we go up on two. Angle of the neck, we're going over trapezius muscle there. Trapezius muscle, if we've had our shoulders up during the day, probably quite fatigued. You get more trigger points in trapezius than any other muscle in the body. Works really over time in our lives. And we're over a acupuncture point called gallbladder 31, which is known to give you clear thinking. Knock there, back to shoulder nest, lung one and two, immunity in the lung, and then back over. Ming Men, which is over the adrenal gland, so you're getting a little bit of adrenaline pumped up there. Just keep going for the last bit of the day. Maybe you do this at lunchtime if you're in but sleepy, that would be a great time to do it before you start the afternoon. And just let it, your arms wind down slowly. Right, shake out your legs, shoulders a little bit. And let's do dropping and turning. So dropping and turning, take your arms up at shoulder level. If you don't have good shoulders, start a little bit lower down and just drop and bend your knees. And see one arm is going in front front of the body and one arm is going behind. Very good for your right left brain coordination to do this. 
And as we do this, it's an in-breath and it's an out-breath. <sighs> Through the mouth. <sighs> Once you've got that going, as we breathe out, we want to turn. So it's a drop and turn. <sighs> Let's keep it slow. <sighs> In the morning, I would do this much faster. At the end of the day, <sighs> just a nice... Slow, letting go of any tension between the shoulders and the neck. Any stuff in your head that's moving around and round repetitively. Monkey mind, active monkey mind. And making space between your shoulder blades here. Just dropping puppet arms. And relax. Shake it out a little bit. And let's release the last bit of tension or anxiety or just stuff we don't have to take to bed with us. With tiger in the grass. A tiger stretching up, dropping your tailbone. Keep your chin tucked in. It's got a long spine. And anything we don't need there, little tiger claws, we're going to take down to the ground to compost. Out breath through the mouth. If you can go right down to squat with your hands going between your knees, do that. If you can't, you can just take whatever it is as far as this and throw it into the ground. But if you can go down a sitting squat position there, <sighs> breathing coming up, rolling up. So we're going to do quite a lot of strengthening for the back and the legs in this class. Strengthen our yang body, our yang energy. And you can do a guttural tiger out breath. Really clear some stuff there. Doesn't even matter if you don't know what you're clearing, just the intention to let go and clear. Anything can jump on that wagon. And then the last movement, we just clear space around us. We've all got biomagnetic fields that extend really far out. But if you do this, you can kind of feel this. So during COVID, they said, don't go closer than two meters to anybody. And that's basically um, the sort of, I wouldn't say it's the outer circle, but it's an intermediate circle around us. Right, we carry on with Tiger and do some stretches. So. Tiger coming up first, tailbone tucked in, dropped and chin tucked in and leg, head up and come forwards to stretch. <sighs> coming down to having your arms straight and at the same time, if you can, have your hamstrings straight there. So leaning back into the back of your knees there. And then come down and roll up. Up you come. I'll do the next one from the side. And forwards, getting a stretch through your back, through your hamstrings, and through your arms. Down, rolling up. And again, if you're not strong enough to do this or your back is a little bit sore, just stretch out to here. Stretching out to here, even further down. Make sure that you've got your tummy tightened there to protect your back there. Coming up again. Out through the mouth, all the way down, coming up. And now we're going to go to the side. So stretch up, step forward so with your heel and stretch. Stretching through the back of the forward hamstring there. Coming up, rolling up and to the other side, step onto your heel, lean forwards, stretching out through the shoulders, the back. Low back and hamstrings. I'm going to be stretching and strengthening. 
Let's do one more to the front, all the way up. Just do it in your comfort zone. Down, all the way up, and we go last one to each side and to the side on your heel. Bring up. Bring up. And relaxing. Just hold your chi ball, keeping that energy nicely collected and connected. Or go into your lower dantian, your little pantry, little storehouse. And let's carry on with the upper neck and shoulder stretching. And we're going to do dragon watches his tail. So this is a swimming dragon watching his tail. Looking at your two hands. So you're looking at the lines in your hands. A really close focus. Turn your hands and push away from now. Don't push them forwards, push them to the side. So you've got a, a side position like that, not a 45 degree position. So to the side. And as you push across, make sure you've got a drop tailbone, long spine tuck in your chin, head lifted up, shoulders dropped. And now your head turns to the opposite side. Keep your chin tucked in and look into the distance. So it's an exercise for your eyes as well going from close focus to distant perception. Very good exercise for your eyes. Turn your head and bring your hands back with an in-breath. Let's do in and out breath through the nose to strengthen here. Look into the distance. As you're coming back, look at the lines of your hands. Push away, pushing away as if you're pushing something heavy. And pulling your wrists back. This is very good to avoid things like carpal tunnel and any nerve referral injury from the neck. Getting in. Really good for tricky necks as well. Out, look into the distance. Drop your hands down in a little semicircle, bring them up to the other side. Tucking your chin in, drop your tailbone, long spine, soft knees and ankles, turn your hands and push away and then turn your head as if it's on a piece of glass. So your chin stays along a horizontal line, looking into the distance, in through the nose, out through the nose. Get a little bit of tingling in your hands, that's just fine. Shows that you're stretching your fascia. You're helping your nerves to glide in the soft tissue from the neck all the way down to the fingertips. And relax. Bring your hands into prayer position where your boobs would be whenever they were in that position. So we're on a very important point for the lungs here and the heart. And you can dig your knuckles in a little bit here. And just to start off with, your feet are together and breathe into the belly. Get that lovely expansion of the belly as you breathe in and the belly goes back towards the spine as you breathe out. Let's do in and out through the nose, just in your own, in your own time. Try and get a a five in, six out breath. Now take your hands up above your head. A candle. If you can lift your heels up, you'll be lifting your bubbling spring, your kidney one point. Get a little bit of balance there going, stretching up, dropping the tailbone, chin tucked in, stretching through your spine. If you can't lift your heels up, just lean slightly a little bit more way through to the pads of your toes, pads of the feet there. And now bring your hands behind your head and sink down on your knees as if you're going to sit on a chair. Don't lean forwards too much, just come down as far as you can without leaning forwards. And breathe in and straighten up. 
like an arrow. And breathe out, hands behind your head and sink down. And breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And this time you're going to go all the way down to put your hands on the ground. And fingertips down there or flat hands. And allow your head just to hang, hang off your cervical, your neck vertebra. Getting a little blood into your head there. Slowly uncoil. As you're uncoiling, tuck your tailbone in, roll your spine up and interlace your fingers so that when you come up, your palms are facing the sky. Lovely long stretch through your spine. And then breath in and over to the side. When we move slowly, it gives time for the fascia to let go, for the muscles to relax over, 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 making spaces between your ribs. Also, a beautiful side bend through your spine. Don't let your hands come too far forward. Try and get them in line with your, your body there. Coming up again. And breathe out to the other side slowly. Allow your spine to unlock, making space between the intervertebral joints there. And coming up. And bring your arms down so that the shoulders and your arms are at C7 or shoulder level there. If your shoulders are not happy there, allow them to go a little bit lower. So your arms are straight but not straight. There's always that slight gentle bend. Hands pulled back, so we're stretching through the fascia from the neck right through the arms. Fingertips facing up, and now let the fingertips face down. Stretching a different part of the arm. You might find it's more difficult for you to do this. I once broke this arm over here, and so it doesn't have as kind of perfect a range as the other one. Face your hands forwards. And face your hands back. Come back to the heart. Hands in prayer position and up you go. Stretching up, breathe in. Drop tailbone, tuck your chin in, hands behind your head. Sitting position. Come up again. Stretch. Down you go to the ground, slowly rolling up, 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 up. Interlace your fingers and stretch up. And again, over to the side. You probably go a little bit further than you did last time. Each time we go into these slow stretches, our fascia gives a little bit more warms up. So when you sit all day, your fascia just gets tighter. It does that so your muscles don't have to work so hard. But then if you go to sleep with our fascia still tight, then that's not a great thing. So this time you're going to take our arms out and make a little bird speak with your hand. And first the bird speak is facing down. Allow that stretch to hold that stretch for about 30 seconds. Hold stretches, it's very strengthening for the body. Turning your little beak upwards. Feel how you are stretching the back of the arm into the hand now. Forwards with your beak. And backwards into the, with your beak, there we go. And come down slowly and just stretch. Ease up that maybe a little bit of 
feeling of stiffness in your arms, forwards and then back. Let's do a spinal twist, so opening your legs a little bit. Hands on your knees and sitting back, can there. And initially, we're going to stretch to one side with the hands in between your legs. Just put this arm on top of your back. Just lie it flat if you can or long side the top of your leg if you can't. And turn to look up to the sky or the ceiling. Hang there for a little bit. Breathe into your lower back, into the kidney area. And then stretch out your arm and look up at your hand if you can. Just gently don't strain your neck. Coming down. Change hands. Opposite hand over your back. And turn. So first turning through the lower back and then the upper back so that you get ready for taking your arm up and opening through the shoulder joint there, supporting with your hands between your knees. That gives you a nice lever to work against. Do one more to each side, come down. Over you go, first your hand flat on your back, turn. When you've eased up the back then, lift up your arm, look up at your hand. Coming down to the other side, hand behind your back and turn. Probably find that one side is easier for you than the other. And up you come, looking at your hand. And come down. And slowly roll up. Okay. And shake. So shaking. Very, very good for your body. It's very, very good for your joints. It's good for your circulation. It's good to warm up. We do a lot of cold water swimming and we come out of cold water. It's really, 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 really cold. Best and fastest way to get warm is to actually shake as you're shivering. Works really, really well and slow the body. Shaking is really, really good. So shaking through the shoulders, feel your shoulder blades going up and down in your ribs. Shoulders going up, hands loose. A little bit of shaking through the head and neck if you can, into the lower back, into the knees, into the ankles. And then you can just bounce with your heels onto the ground. What we're going to be doing here is stimulating the bone marrow. Very good for osteoporosis, preventing osteoporosis. Okay. Breathe in. Long breath out through the mouth. In. In. Last one in. And, and shake your legs out a little bit there. And let's finish with a standing posture, lower tree stance. So upper tree stance here. A tree is the wood element, the liver element. The organ of the liver, the wood element. Hands in front of you, lower down here. And feel your feet, Tai Chi Chigong posture, rooted into the ground. Feel your heels, the outside of your feet, so that your arches are open. And feel the pads of your feet, big toe, ring toe, middle toe, little toe, connecting to the ground, tailbone dropping, soft knees, ankles. Long spine lifting up. Chin tucked in, head lifted up to the sky. Shoulder blades relaxed. Space between your legs. Little space in the axilla. And close your eyes for a second and just keep your balance. Your balance will go forwards and backwards, side to side. So when we're Sting the standing posture like very, very strong for your stabilizing muscles. So you've got long muscles that move the body and little short muscles that do a lot of stabilization around the joints. It's very, very important as we get older that we don't lose 
the little stability muscles. So we think of standing postures being like the banks of a river, the sturdy banks of the river, so that the water can flow down the river, water being the chi, so the banks are the structure of the body, and the chi is that flowing invisible energy of the body, so they support each other. So from that position, we're going to breathe in through the nose, and hold up the sky. Pause for a second, two or three, and then breathe out, coming down, spiral as you come to the collarbones, back into your holding the ball position, out breath. Pause for a couple of seconds there. Breathe in. Reach up, opening your body up towards the sky. When you pause your breath, your mind becomes still. And breathe out through the nose. The end of your out breath, allow there to be a pause before you breathe in again. And you can notice what the natural pause is for you. It's like a wave coming into the shore. Pauses and then goes back to the sea again. Breathing in. Holding up. Breathing out. I feel a little bit of warmth and tingling coming into your fingers as you are building up the chi in your body. With the yang chi and there's yin chi, so to sleep we need good yin chi to go to sleep with. So we're actually working with these beautiful soft flowing movements in nourishing yin. So talk about nourishing yin for good sleep. But we had to replenish the yang as well. Your yang is exhausted, then your yin is usually exhausted as well. Breathing in through the nose, floating your hands up through the air, holding up the sky, noticing how we, our body, live between the sky and the earth. You're part of nature, part of the world. I'm coming down, bring your hands over the lower dantian, just below your navel, one hand on top of the other, feet a little bit closer together, and close your eyes for a second. Notice any sounds around you, and pay attention to them find yourself thinking about something else, just bring it back to the sounds. No sounds outside of you. Maybe you can hear the beating of your heart or your breath. Just stay tuned into sound. And then let the sound just float away. So notice the temperature of the air on your skin, the touch of your clothes. Allow your face to soften, your forehead to soften, your jaw to soften, back of your head where it joins into the neck. Mouth slightly open and drop your hands. And when you open your eyes, notice the space around you rather than the things around you. Notice the space in your eyes. And 
just a couple of steps quietly coming back and thank you for joining Chugung this evening.